Most people tend to confuse an air compressor with an air pump. The two words are sometimes even used interchangeably. They may look similar, but they are still very much different from each other. Understanding the differences between the two is essential, especially if you want to use the right tool for the job. Air pumps work by forcing air through a small hole. Like a water hose with a small hole, the air is pushed out at a higher pressure. Most air pumps use a piston powered by an electric motor to force the air out of the machine. But you can also have hand-operated air pumps like a bicycle pump or a foot pump for your car. Air pumps are used in a lot of applications, like in a bathroom or an aquarium. An air compressor is a device that stores pressurizes air in a tank. This pressurized air can then be used to power all kinds of devices like a nail gun, a spray gun for painting, a power wrench, and many more power tools. Other uses are to blow water from pipes if you have to winterize them, cleaning something with the pressurized air. One of the advantages of using power tools that are using pressurized air is that they will have high torque and can be used in locations where electric tools or gas tools can pose a danger. In the form of pressurized air, compressors transform power from an electric or gas-powered motor into the potential energy stored. The compressor compacts air into storage tanks thereby increasing the pressure. Two key types of air compressors exist. They are the positive displacement compressor and the dynamic compressor. Both types are subdivided into different categories and the ways they work vary from each other. The positive displacement compressor takes in air and mechanically decreases the air space to increase the pressure. Once the highest amount of pressure is reached, a port or valve opens and the air is delivered into the outlet system from the compression chambers. Dynamic compressors apply the process of rotating impellers to move pressure to the air. An example of a dynamic compressor is a centrifugal compressor. Compared to other types of compressors, centrifugal compressors spin at higher speeds. They are designed for higher capacity as the flow through the compressor is continuous. The positive displacement pumps transfer the air by pumping it into a discharge pipe at any given speed, respective of the discharge pressure. They can produce the same flow at a given speed, making them continuous flow machines. Positive displacement pumps come with a relief or safety valve on the discharge side to avoid line bursts. If a positive displacement pump operates against a closed discharge valve, the pressure inside the discharge increases, causing a line to burst. This, in turn, damages the pump. Reciprocating pumps, piston, plunger, and diaphragm, power pumps, steam pumps, and rotary pumps, gear, low, screw, and vein may be categorized as positive displacement pumps. A centrifugal pump changes input power to kinetic energy by quickening liquid in an impeller. The most common centrifugal pump is called a volute pump. Here, through the eye of the impeller rotating at high speed, the fluid reaches the pump. As the fluid accelerates from the pump chasing, a vacuum is created at the impeller's eye. This vacuum provides more suction and draws into the pump more fluid. The maximum head is determined by the pump impeller's outside diameter and the spinning shaft speed. Depending on your needs, you have to choose between an air pump and an air compressor. If you need to fill tires, balls, a bounce house, or other similar products, an air pump is the best solution. This kind of jobs does not require high pressure air, and an air pump is the best choice. An air pump can run continuously, so your bounce house is filled in a reasonable amount of time. If you need to power air tools or do a job where high pressure air is required, like to blow the water from an irrigation system, you need an air compressor. An air compressor can deliver high pressure air with enough energy to fill tires, but it would have difficulty filling a bounce house as it takes time to fill the tank. Now it's your turn. Which one impresses you the most? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, do share and subscribe to our channel for further video notifications.